Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God that has kept us alive and has given us this day. Unto him be all the glory, now and forevermore. My name is Tude Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and I bring to you the word of the Lord from the Open Heavens uh, Daily Devotional Guide written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboe. Today we are looking at the topic, Soul Winnie and Signs. Soul Winnie and Signs. And we take our text from the book of Acts, chapter 8, from verse 5 through to verse 8. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. And the multitudes, with one accord, heeded the things spoken by Philip, hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with a loud voice, came out of many who were possessed, and many who were paralyzed and lame were healed. And there was great joy in that city. A memory verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16. For if I preach the gospel, I have nothing to boast of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yes, Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. A reflection. Do you know that soul winning is often otherwise known as evangelism? The word evangelism refers to the practice of relaying information about a particular set of beliefs to others who do not hold those beliefs. It is sharing your testimony as a Christian, you know, with others. In Christianity, evangelism is the act of witnessing or fulfilling the Great Commission, as is recorded in Matthew chapter 8, 28, verse 16 to 20. The scriptures often describe evangelism as spreading the gospel. Therefore, simply put, Christian evangelism is when we share our faith with others, when we share the goodness of the Lord with others. It is a verbal proclamation of the Christian gospel. And the overriding objectives of this article is to urge believers to tell what they know about God from their encounters with Him. You are required as a believer to expose your religion and not to impose it. You were saved to save others. The essence of your faith is to proclaim liberty to those in captivity. Isaiah 61 verse 1. As believers, we are all bestowed with power and authority to proclaim the gospel, to proclaim the good news with signs and wonders following. We are to go out to go forth and bear fruits and disciple them to abide according to the book of John chapter 15 verse 16. In the Bible, we read of men and women who saw God. Do you want to see God? They discovered God in ways that transformed them. What they saw compelled them to say something about this God. This recurring pattern is summarized in 1 John chapter 1, verse 1. You know what it says? It says, That which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life. And so the encounters so inspired them that they felt compelled to tell other people, we are the benefactors of these rich encounters with God and demonstration of an act of obedience. You don't need to be forced to share your faith and to share the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with others. When you do it, it's a plus on your part. A key point, as God works with evangelists, 
he will always confirm their words with signs and wonders in order to convince unbelievers. And that's a key to the miraculous. You want the miraculous? Then respond to the instruction that God has given to go out and bear fruits and be disciples of men. Thank you for tuning in to today's telecast. I pray that the word of God that you have heard today will bless your soul and your spirit and will stir you up to do that which God has commanded you, uh, you and I to do in Jesus' name. Until I see you again, shalom, peace, and glory. Bye for now.